guys. What's up? This is Reza with DPX Gear. I'm in beautiful central Idaho right now, and I'm bringing you the Hess Folder 2.0. This knife was uh, designed by Robert Young Pelton, manufactured in Italy by Lion Steel, and uh, it was basically designed with the toughest environments in mind and uses. This knife has a lot of features, and today I'm going to show you those features, but I'm also going to show you how to use those features. So stay tuned. So the most important part of a knife obviously is going to be the blade, the cutting edge. This blade's pretty awesome for a couple reasons. First of all, it's made from German D2 steel. That's a really hard steel. And you're not going to need to sharpen this. If you're in a survival situation or in the field, it's going to keep its edge for a very long time. On top of that, it doesn't corrode as fast as other carbon steels. So just like that, from there I would trim it and I'd have a beam pole for a shelter. That's a pretty, there was no batoning, that's a pretty thick piece of wood. So you can tell how sharp that baby is. And on top of that, like I said, it keeps its blade. That paper right here. Oh, two pieces of paper. Still like a razor. It's also got a mil-spec phosphate coating on it. That lowers the print signature, so if you're escape invasion type scenario or tactical scenario, it hides the blade a little bit. Look at the thickness of that blade. It's about 316, so that creates massive puncture wounds as well. On top of that, it also is going to protect the steel underneath from corrosion. The Hess folder incorporates a bottle opener into the blade. It can be used open or closed. That's convenient because 90% of the world's locales still use glass bottles for their beer and soda. Now the bottle opener also doubles up as a lashing point. I tied some 550 paracord through the lanyard hole made a little loop, put it up here through the bottle opener, put your hand through it. That'll keep your hand in place in an intense situation, or if you're chopping wood, you don't have to worry about it swinging and hitting yourself or another person. Now the third function of the bottle opener is that it also serves as a quick release. So Robert took a lot of consideration in the overall ergonomics of this knife. Um, as you can see, on this side of the knife you got G10. It's got a real high tensile strength. This thing's not going to burn, it's not going to freeze. It's really grippy. So in a, if you're wet and you're using the knife, you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand. Now on the other side you have a titanium alloy. It's got kind of a brush finish to it. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about it reflecting light if you're in an E&E &E situation. They made the handle big, so it rides really well in your hand. I mean, it's a really good feeling knife. Now on top of that, you have this clip. That's designed to ride low in your pocket. Kind of keep it concealed, but on top of that, it's really strong. I mean, I've been wearing this thing around. You don't have to worry about it slipping, falling out, or anything like that. You also have the roto block. You give this little wheel a quarter turn. That's going to lock the blade into place essentially making this folder a fixed blade. So if you're in an intense situation and you're using it, 
you don't have to worry about this knife um, slipping or this blade coming down on your fingers or anything like that. Now I've used other knives before and um, they have slipped. With this knife you don't have to worry about that. Check out the jimping on this knife. You really don't have to worry about your fingers slipping. If you got a glove hand or your hands wet, that jimping is going to keep your, your fingers in place. On top of that, it's so deep because it doubles up as a wire stripper. Now, the way I use this usually is I just take the blade, I go around the piece of wire real quick, come right here, and I strip the wire just like that. That comes in really useful. If your car breaks down and you need to strip some wires from your battery, you can do that to create fire. You can hook your lights and your a horn up to that. If you need to travel, you can take them out from the car. That's a very big deal. Or if you're in an urban type setting, you just need to strip some wire for various purposes, you can do that. In a more urban type function, the Hess folder has a quarter inch hex driver incorporated in the handle. That's standard for most electric drill sets. Uh, if you're in a disaster type scenario and you're, you lose power and you need access to your tools, well, you can rely on your Hess to manually provide the same functions. The last thing about this knife, on the bottom of the handle you have this nifty uh, glass punch right here. It works really well if you need to break your way out of a car, say your envoy gets ambushed, you can really, uh, really do some damage and uh, break through the glass pretty quick. On top of that, that doubles up as a non-lethal um, self-defense tool. Jab to the neck or the ribs, you're going to be able to disable someone uh, pretty quickly. Let's try and demonstrate both those purposes here with the help of my assistant. So that shattered the bottle. Completely annihilated it. So, I mean, like I said, a shot to the ribs or you need to break through a car window and escape and evade the enemy, you're going to be able to do that with this tool right here. Now when you purchase the Hess folder, you're also going to get the school tool. Uh, this thing's pretty cool in and of itself. Uh, on the top, you have these two little prongs. That's going to allow you to adjust the pivot tension of your knife. So you can tighten it or you can loosen it, whatever fits your liking. On top of that, in the little eye hole right here, you have a, your glass punch uh, driver. So you can uh, put that on your glass punch. That's going to loosen it up. And that will allow you to replace it with the regular pommel that you see here on the nose of the tool. Or, and it also allows you to uh, take off the clip. So if you purchase the black clip from DPX, uh, you can put it on that way. Or if you want to go no clip. You, uh, you can do that. So, um, the other thing that's cool about this tool is that on the bottom, this edge right here, it's already grinded down, but you can sharpen it into a little blade. So you can use that as a super concealable self-defense tool or a box cutter, something along those lines. On the other side, right on the side right here, you're gonna have um, a little curved blade. That's great for cutting cordage, 550 paracord, or uh, cutting through seat belts. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.